Hi friends, it's Rabbi Briskin with a thought for Shabbat. For several years, I've been inspired by the poetry of Alden Solovoy. He's an American-born poet who now lives in Israel and writes beautifully on themes of prayer, about the holidays, even connecting Torah portions through, uh, through poetry. So whether it's a meditation on this week's Torah portion or a response to an event in the world about which he writes frequently, he uses his poetry to soothe, to challenge, to testify, to bear witness, to rebuke, and to comfort. As I continue to reflect on this week's difficult Torah portion called Ki Tavo, which includes a single chapter of 69 verses, which is filled with five times as many curses as blessings, I find the wisdom in Alden Salavoy's writing an interpretation that, quote, we are tools of both blessing and curse. It is up to us to be the blessing. I find this wisdom to be of an incredible source of comfort and strength. So I'd just like to share this poem with you as my offering for this thought for Shabbat. It's called Be the Blessing. Be the Blessing. To be a blessing, to be a curse, to speak with kindness, to speak in anger, to act with compassion, to act with cruelty, with a loving heart or threatening hands, to build, to destroy, to lift up, to tear apart, mindful or thoughtless, careful or careless, open-handed, closed-fisted, honest, corrupt, to strive for holiness or to abandon God's word to be a blessing, to be a curse. You gave us this choice, God of generations, to bless ourselves, to curse ourselves, to bless each other, to curse each other. Let blessings pour forth from my life. Let blessings rain down from heaven. God's blessings will fill our days. God's blessings will surround us all. Be the blessing, be the blessing, be the blessing. Beautiful words from Alden Salavoy, reminding us that in a world that is filled with curses and all kinds of terrible things, that we can be the blessing. It's up to us. So wishing you a Shabbat Shalom, a Shabbat of peace and wholeness and rejuvenation. Uh, Join us for our Shabbat service at 7 o'clock on Friday as we welcome our new members who have joined the congregation in the last couple of years. And this Saturday night and Sunday for two different Slichot activities as we prepared to enter into the new year of 5783. Shabbat Shalom.